this video, we will show an example of how to load in data and segment it. For the purposes of this example, we will be looking at an MRI of a heart and segmenting the ventricles. First, we need to start a new project in Seg3D. So we will go to File, New Project, and we will give it a name. And then we will also give it a location for it to be saved. We will then press Continue and Done, and we should have an empty project. Now, let's load in some data. So we'll click on File, Import Data from a Single File, and then we will click on the data we are interested in. A list of options will pop up. There are two types of data we can load in, image data and label maps. We are loading in an MRI image of the heart rather than a segmentation, so we will select Import File as a data volume. Now we see a new layer has been created. We can scroll through the slices in the sagittal, coronal, or axial view, or we can rotate the image in the volume viewer. We can now apply some filters to this image. So if we go to the data filters menu, we can see multiple options for filters we can apply. For this example, we are going to apply a median filter. Now you will see that a new tool has appeared in this window. We then need to select the image or layer we want to apply the filter to. This is called the target layer. Right now we only have one layer, so we can ignore this step, but we will go into more detail about this later on. We will then set our radius to 2 and run the filter. A new data layer should appear, which will be our filtered image. To see the difference in our original image and filtered image, we can turn layers on and off using the I button. As a reminder, the goal for our project is to segment the ventricles or lower chambers of the heart with filled in blood pools. First, we need to segment the general shape of the heart. To do so, we are going to use the threshold tool. The first thing we need to do is adjust the target layer to be our filtered image rather than the original image. You can tell which layer is the target layer by the blue highlighting. The threshold tool works by segmenting regions of the image that have intensities in the specified range. There are two ways we can set this range. You can either select points in one of the image slices, or you can adjust the minimum and maximum values with the slide bars. Once you are happy with the set range, we can click Create Threshold Layer. A new layer has been created, and notice how this is a different type of layer than the image, rather it is a label map. Let's look at our segmentation in 3D. So we can go to the Volume Viewer, and then ISO Surface, the desired layer, and now we see we have the general heart shape. Now we want to isolate the ventricles. One possible route is to create a break or gap in the segmentation and remove anything not connected to the ventricles. So let's walk through how to do that. We are going to use the paintbrush tool, which allows you to manually fill or erase the label map. First step, we need to select our target layer. Now we are going to erase a single slice in the segmentation. You can either use a mouse to right click and manually erase the slice, or to suppress the erase button. Next we are going to use the connected component filter. This filter works by finding connected data regions in a mass layer that are in the same region as a defined seed point. So we will place our seed point in the ventricles and run the filter. Looking in the 3D view, we can see we are left with just the ventricles. The last step is to fill in the blood pools. So we are going to use the Fill Holes tool. This tool works by filling unmarked regions which are surrounded by data in a mass layer. 
for fill holes to work, we first need to create a filled in outer boundary. So we are going to use the paintbrush tool again to fill in our boundary. To increase the size of our paintbrush, you can either use the controls in the tool viewer or the scroll wheel, like so. Now we're going to select our seed point for the fill holes in the mask and run the filter. Now we are left with filled in ventricles. This concludes our tutorial for creating projects and segmenting the ventricles. Happy segmenting!